Okay, so we're going to make a hidden door behind a bookshelf. Let's get started. Firstly, we're going to need two events which show the bookshelf. So we're going to load up a new event, go down and we're going to select the bottom of the bookshelf. We're going to make that the same as the characters. And then we're going to open another event right above it and scroll down for the graphic to make that the top of the bookshelf. Now we're going to name these, so the top we'll just name bookshelf top and the bottom we'll just name bookshelf bottom. Now in bookshelf bottom what we're going to do is we're going to have a small amount of text which is just going to say there is something hidden behind this bookshelf, investigate and then we're just going to show a choice, yes or no. Now under yes what we're going to do is set some movement routes so firstly up in the top left hand corner we're going to send bookshelf bottom and we're going to get that to move left and we're just going to untick wait for completion. Now right before we move left we're just going to have it wait one frame. And the reason we do this is because moving between moving the bottom of the bookshelf and moving the top of the bookshelf is one frame between the two event processes. So because we're not waiting for this to complete we're going to wait one frame just to give the next event process time to catch up. We're going to do another movement route and then we're going to go bookshelf top and we're going to get that one to firstly we're going to put through on and then we're going to move left and also we're not going to wait for completion on this one. Now just before these things we're going to make some sound effects so we'll do door one and then we're going to make another sound effect which will be door two. So now when the player comes up and decides to investigate, it's going to play the sound effect and it's going to move the bookshelf left and right. So let's add one last bit of text. You found a hidden door and we'll test that one out. So here's the bookshelf event we have. We're going to walk up to it and click the action button. There's something hidden behind this bookshelf. Investigate. When we hit yes, that bookshelf is then going to move to the left. You've found a hidden door. And there we go, the bookshelf moved. Now if I do this again, this is going to try and keep moving the bookshelf. And that's going to keep going until we soft lock the game. So to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to go into here. We're going to, after you've found a hidden door, we're going to create a control switch which says bookshelf moved. And then we're going to set that to on. And now we're going to create a second event page which says if bookshelf moved is on, then it's no longer going to show anything. So we're just going to do the same for the top. New event page, if bookshelf moved is on, then once this bookshelf moves, it's going to disappear. Now we don't want it to visibly disappear from the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another two events and we're going to start off with if bookshelf has been moved. And if it has, then we're just going to show the graphic. make sure it's the same as the characters. We're just going to do the same thing for the top. So now what should happen is the player should click on the bookshelf, it'll move to the left and make these two events disappear, and then these two events will appear, but when you click on them, the bookshelf won't keep moving. Also, if you guys are enjoying my content, then make sure to scroll down and hit the like button. It really helps out to make sure my videos get out to more people. And if you're so way inclined, then subscribing and hitting the bell icon would be great. Now let's test this system out in game. So here we have the bookshelf. We'll walk up to it. There's something hidden behind this bookshelf. Investigate. And then it's going to move to the left. You've found a hidden door. Now if I click on it again, nothing's going to happen. And also, if I leave this house and come back, because those self-switches are on, this bookshelf is going to remain in the position after we've moved it. This tutorial was a special request by Robert. Thank you, Robert. If anyone else has any issues with RPG Maker or just wants to know how to make a certain system work, then comment down below and I'll be able to make a tutorial for you on that one. Also keep in mind with RPG Maker MZ coming out very soon, I've got a swath of content that is planned for that one, so get ready for that. See you guys later.